Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor down here at the big booming boat ramp. Uh, this is oh, one of my favorite. This is probably the quietest one in uh, handling. You want to go out 55 miles, 60 miles out, tuna fishing, here you go. Very quiet, got all the amenities, good visibility. You can see off the side glass, no blind spots. Uh, good, uh, you put the lights where they belong. You got the front light there. You got the side lights to see coming in, nav lights, got the Garmin GPS antenna, the Garmin Phantom radar, that's dual range, trumpet horn, large bow rails. You can stand up there and fish out the front. Uh, it's got a windless anchor system. And what they, these guys did is they arched these down for a reason. We had another guy got a call today. They, if they come straight out like that, then you have to almost help that anchor down. With this, it puts the anchor like this to help it fall two speed and we went with the good strap here safety chain here double dip galvanized heavy duty trailer we're going to have some slick bunks on it so it's got four four by fours on that top mount coupler two and five sixteenths ball i topped off the brake fluid the heavy duty safety chain of uh, flat five you can get that adapter i got uh, strakes lifting strakes they call them uh i call them more for steering actually it keeps the boat straighter uh, they're going to adjust the trailer. We're going to drop that other side. We're going to raise it uh, or push it down about an inch and then push the other one out up front so it doesn't hit the scoops. Uh, anyway, that rattling noise, if you hear it, I'd get a carabiner or something like this that would just clip. If you hear that, that's what that noise is inside the boat. But these 2500s, the 22 and 25s are my favorite, but the 2500s are definitely quieter. You really don't need trim tabs. You don't need them on the 22 really either. Uh, so that were my two favorites. I mean, this and I like the color on this one uh, And then the nice thing here is the gear oil hubs you walk by yep We're good to go three-quarter full half full. They're good if you walk by and ooh, they're white Wow, that's not good, but I say you've made a long trip from here to Portland 300 or 200 some miles you stopped They were all foamy ah, let it sit overnight. Okay, right here That's your fill right there Okay, so if they are down it's gonna take quite a while But what you want to do is make sure your trailer is level you take that out that's just an ellen head and i'll see if i got something in my pocket that might yeah right here it's a level you would want to put it on your trailer yeah that's pretty dang level so you make sure you're level you go top it off to three quarters come back in 15 minutes if it down add some uh come back in 15 minutes if it's there you leave it alone don't overfill those if you do drain them there's your gas vent right here uh this is a 100 gallon fuel tank 19 degree v uh, on this boat it's uh, 300 horsepower is recommended you got 400 max uh, this boat does great with these 150s on it uh got trim tabs you got drain plugs there's your tie down holes right here dive ladder nice and they, they kind of put it i kind of like the black then you got your belting there black it kind of offsets it a uh, black little thing around your tail lights so you got a plug there that's for the deck itself that's tube 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 for the deck it's got the garmin god thank god you went garmin buddy you made my day you got an awesome boat now you got an awesome electronic the reason why i like garmin so well is it because it takes me half the time to set up the riggers it's that when you you hook up something to a garmin it works you don't have to go in there and uh go in through a menu and a setting and say oh yes this is this radar oh this is this sonar it, it works and they're fast processing they're good for the consumer because they're a lot easier to use but and you know it's it's a little harder to screw them up on here uh, it's a 25 inch on that 78 inch beam and then you've got the dry weight is about uh, 3500 pounds 77 tow weight and then you got about 30 feet 10 inches long uh, and these are all solar uh, motors you got stainless prop shaft drive shafts you got a right hand turn here you got a left hand turn here how that cups like that and then you got uh, 15 pitch on that you got two uh two coats of clear two coats of primer special paint here's your oil drain here so these you can do the oil yourself there's your p tube right there uh, mid exhaust then you got over here if the batteries go dead you can do turn that counterclockwise and you just bear it just lift and let it do the work because if you force trying to get this up uh, good luck uh, that's to raise the motors if you have to and then you got uh, hydraulic steering you got uh, 
single ram with a tie bar kicker motors off on this side uh trim tabs you don't need them big long honky deep ones that can stick out and go over you don't need them as too much uh pre-flex hole the more flexes you got in here the better the stronger they are they do a really good job welding these uh, black rail belting 